Yo guys, I'm back. Better quality, newer content. Let's get this going. What is going on guys? I know it's been a minute, haven't really been posting much. I guess as far as where I've been really, really, really structuring and trying to build out uh, this private label brand, uh, the one I mentioned to you guys uh, a few <laughs> episodes ago, I know it's been like two or three months since the last time I posted, but I have really, really, really been growing out, scaling, putting everything into place for this private label brand, and I'm going to reveal that to you guys really, really soon. It's going to be like super amazing uh, what's happening in the next couple months, Ex Especially because Q4 is like two, three weeks away. Uh, so as soon as that happens, guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to like ramp up your ads, how to like grow at scale. And as far as right now, I have like some really, really cool video ideas. But I'm going to go over that in just a minute. For right now, what you guys came here to see is a little bit of my philosophy on how to be an entrepreneur or e-com hustler or whatever it is you really want to call it how to make money using this whole internet thing. And not so much the practical side, I will again be going into the practical side of everything, but before I feel like I can go into that, I personally feel like I have to talk to you guys about the mindset side because it's really, really hard to get into the practicalities without you being under the right mindset before you start doing all of this stuff. Because I just want to start off by saying, this shit sucks, it is, not fun it is not like all the stuff you see on instagram with people flying on private jets and doing really really cool econ meetups that is not what happens in real life usually it's an entrepreneur sitting around at your computer six to seven hours a day messing up the whole time um making bad ads recreating ads doing things wrong 90 percent of the time and then that other 10 percent of the time is a, the part that you're going to do right and the biggest part of this whole internet thing, especially when you're first starting out, is scaling up that 10% that you actually do right. 90% of the time, and I'm not exaggerating, 90% of the time, you are going to mess up, you're gonna lose money, you're gonna structure something wrong. You're just not gonna do it right. Like, pretty, much, you're just gonna be terrible at it. And that's okay. And it's 100% to be expected because when it comes to this whole entrepreneur mindset thing, if it was, I know it sounds super cliche, but if it was easy, everybody would do it. And most people aren't doing it because it's not easy. <laughs> Being terrible, sucking is like all a part of the process. So like I told you guys plenty of times, I was terrible at drop shipping for almost three years. Extremely unprofitable. Every check I got for my part-time job went straight to my drop shipping store and that went to me pretty much losing a whole lot of money <laughs> but what I'm, I'm saying all of this to say you're supposed to be terrible at it like I am 100% sure LeBron James whenever he shot his first jump shot he probably didn't make it but it came after several thousands of hours of repetition over 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 and over again that he became like this absolutely amazing player now of course some of it can be argued genetics DNA whatever whatever but at the end of the day, anything you practice for long enough, you will become good at it. But I feel like some guys are selling you guys courses, telling you that in three to four months you'll be profitable, which 100% can happen. I've seen it happen several times. As a matter of fact, stores that I start up now, in three to four months, if they're not profitable, usually I kill the store. But what I'm saying is that drop shipping is almost exactly like the jump shot analogy that I just gave you. It's a skill, it's not a talent. It's something that you have to learn over continuous hours of constant repetition, knowing what a good ad looks like, knowing what a good website looks like, knowing what a really good formal process looks like, knowing like everything there is to know about dropshipping is really, really hard. And that's why there aren't a lot of real six-figure entrepreneurs that are at least dropshipping, not the fake ones that post YouTube videos, Instagram, no beats anybody, but there are a lot of people out here who are giving you very unrealistic results. And... The biggest thing is that I feel like you shouldn't compare your journey uh, wherever you're at now to what somebody else is doing. Don't even compare it to mine. I'm telling you, it took me three years. It might take you three days to be profitable. But what I'm saying is that there are going to be countless roadblocks. Everything is going to suck. Nothing is going to go the way you planned. 
And then after those several thousands or hundreds or whatever that looks like for you of hours of repetition over and over and over and then over again, then you be successful, then you're in the place that you want to be. But all the little nooks and crannies of how everything is supposed to go probably won't happen. So you suck now, but it's okay because you won't always suck. Uh, that's probably my biggest thing for today, guys. Um, thanks for watching this part of the video. I do it want to tell you guys, so I have like three or four or five uh, video plans, uh, ideas that I have planned. So the biggest one is I think I might start up like, a, I guess, a YouTube playlist where I talk about a lot of really, really controversial, I guess, ideas when it comes to like drop shipping or being an entrepreneur. Um, and I think that one will be really, really interesting um, on how I, some in very particular cases, feel that lots of entrepreneurs actually should stay in school and not drop out. Um, like what does it mean to actually make like a really good website like just recently I made a super dope website and I'll probably share that website with you guys and just show you what like a really really awesome high converting website looks like um, how to select big products some of the general stuff what I really really want to go into is like actually branding so like these past few months I told you guys I've been building out like a, a private label brand, private label brand where like my logo is in all of my stock um, everything just looks like super professional so I will probably be going over that with you guys just to show you guys like some really really cool shit as far as like a uh, brand that I pretty much created and slaved over these past uh, up since February um, put my logo on products and then went from selling products from like $20 to now I can sell a product for $80 uh, just because of the perceived value of my brand and then again I told you guys like, that particular brand has over a hundred thousand followers on Instagram so for that, there might be an in-depth case study coming soon. I'm not 100% sure. Honestly, I haven't planned any of it, but it might be coming soon. So, guys, just stay on the watch out for that. Again, thank you so, so much for supporting my channel. And if you ever want to talk to me, reach out to me via Instagram. I will more than likely link it down below. I'll talk to you guys soon.